Hello, my name is Sherry. I'm an artist and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so it's uh, February 26, 2020, and today I'm going to sketch a uh, lionfish. Um, I live in Florida and lionfish, even though they're uh, an invasive species, they're very, very beautiful. Um, so yeah, let, let me get started here. Um, so first of all, I have to find out where in the space the fish is. Now, again, off camera, I have um, photo reference. Um, so I, I can basically see uh, the anatomy of the fish. Um, so this is my second time drawing a lionfish, so it should be a little bit easier than the grouper was, but we'll see. Um, because lionfish have a lot more detail to them. Um, a lot more little like spiky bits and, and stripes and, and things, so we'll see how that is. So starting with the, the basic large shapes is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that'd be the head and body comes down a little bit. Okay, so that would be where the gill is, kind of, and the eye and and Hmm. Okay. And this would be a little bit thinner on the fish. This might go off the page just a little bit. That's okay. Because this, this isn't going to be the, the final product anyways. This is just me sketching. And if it goes off the page, I can always scan it into my computer when I enlarge it and it's going to go on a bigger sheet of paper anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, now that I got the main shape of the fish, although I think the belly is a little bit bigger on this one. And then, um, okay, so the face on this fish is kind of weird. Um, so here's the eye. And the eye comes up this way. And the nose comes out. And then it looks like hmm, it's got like a grimace on its face. Okay, so like it comes out more than that. Okay. This is the basic shape of the face and um, basically what I'm using for reference is um, let me see how do I explain this. Um, use negative space. So instead of seeing like an eye and a mouth and you know bits and pieces of the face, you see the shape. You see the background versus foreground. So um, basically what I'm, I'm going for right now is this shape right here, this curve, and it's not coming out enough I can tell. So we gotta make it bulge out just a little bit more and then this space in through here is correct kind of um, and then this curve right here coming down to the mouth and there's a little point right there 
and then the sides of the mouth kind of disappear because there's these little um, like growths on the side of his mouth that are supposed to be like mimic like seaweed or something for camouflage so and then there's there's some back here too and then it comes back and doesn't go quite like that it goes up at a steeper angle kind of curves that way now this is the the back of his jaw and the beginning of his gills so there's a couple little lines in through here of gills and then this line goes up like this and forward and now in this little tiny space right here is where his first fin comes out so I will draw the basic shape of that even though they're um, uh, these aren't like normal fins like normal fins have like a basic shape to them and these little line these little ridges or lines and through here are little like spiny things that um, I'm sorry I don't know the technical term <laughs> spiny things that uh, support the fin um, but on this fish there's um, the spiny things are they're each individual little fin so um, so I'll try to draw that the best I can so I will draw the, the basic shape first which looks something like this. This is really weird. Okay. So that's the, the basic shape. And then to me, it looks like feathers almost. So you have the, the spine on the outside. And then below it is are these um, little tiny flowy bits. So the spine would be, yeah, right there, I guess. Yeah, these look almost like feathers. And all I'm doing is going in and drawing the basic shape again. And then I'll refine them. Oop, that one's a little bit thicker. mistake okay and like I've said in many other videos it's okay to make mistakes this is where you're supposed to make the map it's in your initial sketch and there's one like that and one like that and they all kind of flow into that and this should be like that shape. Okay, now we'll do the spiky bits on the back. Nope. <laughs> okay, actually it should be there. 
there. There. Ooh, a long one. There. These remind me of like throwing spears. Uh, I guess he had a broken one. This one is supposed to go here. Well, I don't know. Those three are really close together, so we'll put them here. Yeah, because it. Mm, there is another like shape right here. Okay, we'll put that right there. All right, and bottom of the tail. I told you I'd go on the other piece of paper. I very rarely in my sketchbooks draw on the other piece of paper. I just, um, I've been taught not to. Uh, years ago, um, I was taught by my teachers, like, you know, you don't want to draw on both sides of the paper because, um, it'll bleed through or you'll be able to see, like, the marks that you make on one side of the paper versus the other. Um, Usually if you have a heavy hand and make a bunch of marks and then flip it over you'll be able to either you'll be able to see your marks through the paper or um, when like doing shading and stuff they'll pop through and I don't know I've always just stuck to that and I know that like seeing other people's um, other artists sketchbook tours um, on YouTube and, and other uh, video services that um, there's a lot of you out there that, that put them on both sides of the paper and or put sketches on both sides of the paper which I think is awesome but I don't personally do it I feel real strange doing it so <laughs> okay so then, this bottom fin, this is a really beautiful fish. It's too bad that these aren't indigenous and that they're so aggressive because they're, they're real pretty. But supposedly they're all tasty too, so. Um, so in Florida right now, they're trying to make these fish, you know, more of a delicacy. Um, in restaurants and stuff because they're trying to get people to um, take them out of the environment so like make them pets or you know um, get restaurants to uh, take them and make them into meals or you know so they're not killing them and just wasting the the animals you know Okay, so, but yeah, they do not belong here. I forget where they're indigenous to, but um, they're just, they actually destroy coral reefs. And they will take and, and strip a coral reef of all the, the little pretty fish that are supposed to be there.
Okay, now as you see, I'm just going in and refining um, these shapes a little bit more. And now for these spiky bits on his back. Um, now these uh, these type of fish have have very very sharp spiky bits that come out of their their flesh. So like a normal fish, like usually they're. Um, their dorsal fin will look something like this and have flesh between them and it covers them all the way to the tip. These fish um, don't. <laughs> um, the spine actually comes out of their flesh and their flesh like falls away. So each one of these has a little tiny spine on the very tip and then you can tell that the, the flesh is falling away because this is how they defend themselves. So they will spike you. and they are poisonous which is another reason why um, you know they're trying to get them out of the, the coral reefs and the waterways down here and they're very aggressive so This spike is broken. So we'll just have that one be broken like that. And then this. Now there's one thing that I forgot to do um, on this and that's put in his eye. Usually I put in the eye or usually I put in like the facial structure like towards the beginning but this time I forgot. Now his pupil is very very um, tiny and then his iris it blends in with the rest of, of him so the pattern that goes over him, the stripes, um, also go over his eye, which is, uh, I guess, for camouflage. Because this fish is very, very camouflaged. So I'll just put in some of the... the camouflage stripes and not color them in all the way because that way I can see where stuff is. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add all the uh, little stripey bits, um, which isn't all that fun to watch. So I'm going to skip this part. 
Um, comment down below if you want to see me add all the stripey bits to another lionfish and I, I will do that. Um, however, I think it's really boring. <laughs> so I'm going to skip that part. And my next video will be me sketching it out in, uh, in pen. And then I'll have another video of me actually coloring it in. So, okay. See y'all later. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.